Hello, this is a recording that I'm doing after the fact on a presentation I gave in London at Cloud Code Anonymous. It's not the same presentation, uh, the, the voiceover is, is a bit different, mostly just because of the setting. Um, but the, the idea is the same, the slides are the same. The motivation for this talk was a blog post that I gave, or rather the, um, the roads, they, they came out, give or take at the same time where I was investigating or proposing alternative ways to write MCP servers because MCP servers compose kind of badly today. And um, the, they expose so many tools that when you load a sufficient amount of them, the ability of an agent to actually select the tools goes down. And so what I'm proposing here is um, an, what I call an Uber tool MCP, which is effectively an MCP server with a single tool that is multifunction, multipurpose, and reads code. I will skip over this, but um, I wrote some articles about MCP before, um, and you can find them on our blog. Um, so I am generally kind of conflicted on MCPs, and I have largely replaced them with command line tools, because in the context of Claude, Claude is very capable of using Bash, and many of the command line tools that can replace MCP are in the training set um, and quite helpful. So for instance, the GitHub GH command is a very good replacement for the GitHub MCP and overall, from my experience, performs better. And the reason they perform better is in parts because they're composable through Bash, which is a programming language. And if we think about what these coding agents do, they really just write code. So the idea here was, can we provide a way for MCPs or for an agent to use an MCP to execute code on the fly in a stateful session. And again, just look at how many tools MCPs currently pull in. So it doesn't quite work to extend this to an unlimited amount of tools, even with modern approaches like loadouts, um, where you basically use a rec search to select a subset of tools for a task. The biggest reason why I think it is interesting to look at alternatives to at least the current approach of MCP is because MCP calls currently cannot be chained. And so you're required in many ways to rely on inference for all of the work. And in some of those cases, it's actually very appealing to chain multiple tool calls together through some meta language. Um, and this is basically an approach to do this within one MCP. So there's, you cannot have this meta language at the moment, at least to chain different types of MCPs together. But um, I wanna show two MCPs that I wrote, which have a single tool and then use a programming language as an input and a stateful session. And the first one is the pexpect MCP. Um, and just for your understanding, pexpect is a Python port, a Python library, it's kind of well-known, a very old one that implements uh, the functionality of the expect Unix command that comes from the 1970s, I believe. And it is emulating a terminal, then provides an API to uh, make expectations against the output to await certain outputs and to send inputs into it. And so in this case, I'm demonstrating how to use the pexpect MCP to remote control an LLDB process which is then debugging a crash in an application. And you can see from the tool usage that is really just one pexpec tool and the input is Python code. And this works because the prompt of this MCP tells it that there is a stateful Python session available that it can use to um, remote control this LLDB process. And what is kind of interesting about this approach is that while well, you can see that it uses a lot of these tool calls, so it's not, overly efficient. Um, it, you could get it to prompt a lot less. It's just very thorough here. But what is interesting about it is that once it has the root cause, you have all the code that it used to remote control this process in the context window, which means that you can, for instance, tell it afterwards to dump all of these outputs into another Python tool that you can then run in a single iteration to perform most of what this debug session was. And this is what I'm doing here. Tell it to dump the commands into a Python script. And 
this will rather quickly go through the already written code that it has in the context and dump it into a reusable Python script, which we can then run and have it explain the output. And this, you might ask like, okay, well, how often are you going to debug something one on once? Well, for instance, you could do it in a sub agent and then have the uh, setup session be loaded by the main agent and populate less of the, um, of the, um, of the context window. Or you might want to restart that debug session a couple of times. Um, of course, in this case, uh, it would be better if you don't have some interactivity at the end again, and you can actually try to do that. Um, but I, I mostly just want to demonstrate the idea behind it, which is because we already have this code in the context, we can then instruct the LLM to dump it out. And a second kind of interesting version of this is the Playwright SMTP, which is the same idea, it exposes a Python, sorry, in this case, it exposes a JavaScript session with a stateful JavaScript executor that has the playwright MCP loaded into the context. And that allows it to remote control a browser from um, input that the, um, that the agent writes. And what is particularly interesting about this MCP is that it automatically also gets all the console log messages out. So in this case, it wrote a bunch of code to write the links um, that it finds and uh, explains them afterwards. And in this case, I'm also demonstrating uh, looping. So I'm telling it to go to the GitHub profile of myself and create a list of all the pro. Uh, I'm sorry, it creates a list of all the. Um, uh, repositories, and this means that you have to paginate eleven through my um, through my GitHub profile. And in this case, it looks at the first page, it figures out the structure, and then it starts writing um, the loop directly into one single tool call because it's all JavaScript. To click the button a couple of times and extract all the links into uh, a list, which it then at the end processes. And I think this is kind of interesting case because you can see how quickly it actually loads through all of those tabs. Um, it's, it's basically just latency bound at this point. Um, and it's just, it was a single tool use, right? And now it has 313 repositories and we'll start collecting them into a YAML file. And in fact, the slowest part about the repository collection at the end is actually um, dumping it into the YAML file. And you can also see here that it does another playwright call at the end to just check, do a spot check on the first and the last 10 repositories. And then it figures out that it actually has some white space here and now it uses inference to clean it up. Um, but again, it, I think it's an interesting way of doing this. And with Playwright in particular, and because it can now dump out the Playwright script, you can then also use this to create uh, integration tests for, for browser interactions um, because you already have all these inference calls through um, in, in the backlog of, of the context. And so you you could dump out these scripts um, to to do it in less terms. Is it any good? Well, I don't know for sure, but I think it's an experiment worth doing. Um, and one of the ways in which we could start looking at this is to say that um, what coding agents should actually expose is a meta language that can be used to um, to trigger MCP calls. Today, you could kind of do something similar where you create a proxy that loads all the MCP in and then expose a single tool, um, which is basically just a Python function that calls all the uh, loaded MCP tools um, and maybe some sort of guidance of which tools are available. Um, but it is just because it is not in the training set, it is it's kind of tricky to do, I think, today. But I, I encourage you to explore with it. If you want to play with it, the two MCPs are on GitHub and there's a companion blog post that you can read, which explains the concept in more detail.